guys, in today's video, I will be comparing two leave-in conditioners. The first one is the Donna Recipe Sweet Potato Pie Leave-In Conditioner, and the second one is the OK Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. Both of these are eight fluid ounces. I got this one from TJ Maxx for $5.99, but it's not always at TJ Maxx. I'm not sure how much it costs in a beauty supply store. I did find it on Amazon for $11.99. This one I bought from Ulta for $15, so it is a little bit more expensive. They both have a sweet scent. This one is sweeter. To me, it smells like the Teddy Graham crackers, the cinnamon flavored, and this one has like a mango pineapple, but also like a musky scent in it, which I think is coming from the Jamaican black castor oil. So this one smells better in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump straight into the video. I'm gonna wash my hair and then when I'm done washing it, I will oil my scalp like usual. I will put the Donna recipe on one half of my hair and then the OK leave-in conditioner on the other half of my head and detangle my hair. And then I always put uh, the Curl Smith mask on my ends. It's called the Intense Mask. I put that on my tips because that is more dry with the highlights that I have. And then I put an oil overall like on top of my hair. I will speed through that process and then let you all know my thoughts on these leave-in conditioners. Okay, I have my hair detangled and moisturized and I will also have the list of the products I put in my hair in the description box below this video. And I'm gonna let my hair air dry now and I will be back on camera once it's dried. Hey guys, it is the next morning and my hair is dry. This is the side that I put the Donna recipes on, and this is the side that I put the OK leave-in conditioner. They both are moisturized, both are soft. I think they're both good, but if I had to choose one, I would say the Donna recipe side. The curls look a little bit more defined and less frizzy, so... And it does feel a little bit softer, just a little bit, not not a big difference. So, yeah, Donna Recipe it is. So to end this video, I like the Donna Recipe's leave-in conditioner better because the smell, I think it smells so much better. It did make my hair feel a little bit softer. And although it is a little bit more expensive, I think it's worth it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye!